One, two, three. two more notes to that Miss Perla D and G and that's how we will finish in class D G and it's actually the same thing on your D major scale on your audition music so it's the same pattern I'd like you to follow scale arpeggio and then the fifth we call it which is one and then five and then one so are the last three notes of your warm-up okay Let's go ahead and do it one more time, and then I want you to do three more times on your own. Here we go. One, two, three. to our minuet two so we were working on the first two lines and what was awesome about that was your left hand you got all the notes it was great your eighth notes which are the ones with the beams everything with the beam is an eighth note and it needs to be smaller tiny ponies so we'll try it like this line one again like that one measure and then stop focus on keeping your eighth notes really small one and two and tiny next measure go next measure Go. Line two is E. Big, big, tiny. Next one. Big, big, tiny. Next one. Two, three. Let's practice the, that last measure there. Uh, that's last two measures. That's a lot like your D major scale on the audition. You'll notice you have to go run 
And then your ponies are out here. Let's practice that. At tape three. Start at tape one. Pony at tape three. Try again. Ready? Here we go. Now. Ready? And C. Two more times. Here we go. Last one, here we go. Go, A, two, three. Tiny. Line two. keep going so Perla I want to hear the first two lines next week let's do it one more time in this video and then you can pause and practice it at least five times on your own this is going to need lots of practice to really focus on the bowing and keeping everything tiny where it's supposed to be pony or here pony really small one and two beginning Line two. Perla, something important that happens there is a hopping two. I don't know if we talked about it. Um, this is the second line. I'll point it out. Let's just practice that. My second finger has to go hop, hop, hop. Back and forth, hop, 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 hop. Let's try line two, focusing on the hopping finger. Ready, set, hear it, E. Hop. And then we have So I'll leave you with that much. Next week I want to hear two lines. I'm going to look out especially that all of your eighth notes are really small bows, even less than one section. You're either ponying at tape one or you're ponying at tape three. If you're ponying somewhere in the middle, you're, you're not in the right place in the bow. So ponies are here or here. Now that also applies to your audition music. So let's move on to the audition music. First, you'll play your finger patterns on the D string, like so. One, two, three, here we go. D. So one, two, three, four, off. And you'll say it. D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, E, F sharp, G, A, G, F sharp, E, D. A string, here we go. D, C, B, A, 
B, C sharp, D, E, D, C sharp, B, A. Now your D major scale has two sharps in it. It has a C sharp and an F sharp. That means we're gonna use pattern two on both the D string and the A string. We're gonna play the scale and then the arpeggio into it. And the rhythm goes like this. Run, pony, 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 run. Pony, 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 arpeggio, run. Pony, run, pony, run, run, run. I'll do it once without stopping and then I'm gonna do it once with measure by measure. Here we go, this is the whole thing. One, two, and three, and D. Now let's break it out, break it down. First measure has one run and then three beats of ponies and they're all going to be here at tape three. Here we go. Measure one, here we go, here it is. Ready again, here we practice now. Big. And we stop on C sharp in measure one. Again, ready, steady. I'll do it one more time. Practice measure one until you're super, super comfortable with ponying out here. Then you can do measure two. It's backwards. It's going to start at tape three and it starts on high D. And we go back down. And this time we stop on E. I know you want to go on, but let's try it. Find your D on the A string. Tape three. Measure two. And then we pony at tape one. One, two, measure two. Once you can really be comfortable with measure two, we can put it together. Here's measures one and two. One, two, again, beginning. Once you can do the first two measures, you're ready for the third one. The third one, I'm going to break it into two parts. Measure three is going to go like this. That's your arpeggio. Let's try it. First two beats are run on the D and then pony. Let's practice that much. Ready, D. Ready, one more time with me. Next part of the measure starts on D on the A string, up bow. Ready, and again, here we go. Ready, and last one for now. So a good trick that's really helpful for the scales Whenever you get to that note D on the A string for this scale, it's always gonna be up bow. It's gonna be from tape three. When you get to open D, it's always gonna be from tape one. So every time you play that open D, make sure it's a big bow from the frog. And then every time you play this D, big bow backwards, okay? Let's try the arpeggio measure. Measure three of the D major scale and arpeggio. Go. And again, bowing. Make sure you're ponying at tape one and tape three only. Big pony. Big pony. One more time. 
Last measure. Easy, let's do it one more time. D major scale and arpeggio. One, two, and super slow, focus on the bow. for can can I'm just gonna play all of the can can for you nice and slow I would love for you to learn the notes and bowings if you can and next week we can practice it together here we go one two can can goes <laughs> Thank you for being a great student. I'll see you next week. Bye.